Right, folks, The Wire. Let's do My Beloved Wire. Not done anything for a week or two on them now. It's the close season now for The Wire. It isn't for the, the team still involved in the playoffs, but we're not at the top table yet again. Another failure. Let's hope next year's better. Right, on that note, what's happening? Right, we registered it. They finally signed this Zane Musgrove. Is it Musgrove? Musgrave? I think it's Musgrove. Another Aussie. Big lad. Heavy lad. Tall lad. Good build. I believe a good pair of hands and pretty speedy. I hope so. Um, but he's at the right age, 27. A lovely age is that. A great age for him to be coming over here. Um, probably not uh, got the game time he wanted in Australia. He'll get a lot more game time over here. He'll probably be a star over here, to be honest with you. Um, and, uh, yeah, that he's the probably fifth or sixth new signing. Two or three are going to go. These rumours, yesterday I read rumours that maybe Ratchford and Cassiano may be retiring. Sounded to me like from the rumours that they don't know about that. It might be more Warrington, Warrington trying to push them to retire to get them off the books. But as I say, I don't know about that. It's just something I read. Um, they could be in the way, the way things are looking, to be honest with you, although it sounds very harsh, does that. But yeah, so Musgrove's come over and I'm thinking to myself, well, all we need to do, and if we can, because we've filled up the quota, he's probably get rid of drink water because I just don't think he's done it. He isn't good enough. And mate, well, I've been told Cassiano's going. I was told that a week ago, but there's still been nothing in the press. I've been told he's been asked to leave along with Dudson. He's definitely going, which is grand because he's done nothing for us. Cassiano, great player for five minutes a game, but that's all you're getting out of him is five minutes. Ten if you're lucky. Not enough. He needs to go as well. Plus, he's injury prone. He needs to go. That'll free up a couple of more spaces. And I'm looking at things. I'm thinking, well, it looks like it's coming together. The problem with that is I thought the same last year. And look how that worked out. But I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, things are, things are definitely coming together. You know, we're bringing centres in. Let's hope we can learn centres to pass the wingers because we can't do it at the moment. One of them, unfortunately, is King. He definitely can't. But let's hope the Papua New Guinea can. Um, and then I'm thinking, what's going to happen to Curry? Well, unless uh, Burgess can get a tune out of Curry and get him back to where he used to be, I can't see the guy getting any game time. And he's, he's only one year into a three-year contract. He's been poor this year by standards. Really poor. And I still think there's a player there because he was a will beater two or three years ago before his first lot of injuries. Um, I don't know. I hope we get him back. You know, he was a, a decent centre and a better than decent second rower. Could even play loose forward. We've got a great pair of hands, got good leg speed. But no, did he have anything else to discuss with Warrington? And I wrote a couple of bits down. Did he have anything else? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I just I don't know. I'm just wondering what's happening with Drink Water and Cassiano. As I say, I do hope. Drink water goes. I don't want him at half back. I just think we're targeting um, old George Williams just too much. I think they're doubling up on him because uh, they, they're not worried about drink water. They need another threat there at half back, and drink water cer certainly isn't that threat. And as I say, as for Cassiano, he just doesn't give us enough game time. He really doesn't. So, anyway, things are coming together. Let's hope for better next season. Let's hope they can finish that squad off and maybe get another couple of players in and make us something that are going to be hard to beat next year. Because that's what's needed. We first need to be out to beat. But then, then we need to learn how to put the ball over the opponent's try line. We need to learn that when we count on their line, that we're going to finish moves off with tries. Because at this moment in time, we just cannot do it. We really cannot do it. We're great from 30 or 40 yards out, from 10 out, absolutely no idea. Anyway, let's hope things improve. We can only hope.